During some early ultrasounds, the doctors um, had noticed that some of his ears hadn't um, properly formed and they went in um, and did some more sort of high risk ultrasounds as far as, you know, determining what might be going on. You know, you do have an idea of your child being born and you just visualize this perfect little child. The day Julian was born, probably the longest day of my life. <laughs> It was the best thing that ever happened. When he was actually born, um, the moment that he actually came out and we weren't sure if he was going to have, you know, something wrong. You know, the doctor's handing him to me and saying, it's a boy, it's a boy, cut the cord. And I'm just like, you know, breaking down into tears, just overwhelmed by emotion. I didn't see anything but his just beautiful little face. So, I mean, for me, I just, my whole world opened up. And, you know, at that point, I do remember the pediatrician coming in and um, explaining, yes, he has microtia. At first, you know, we were kind of like, well, you know, we don't know how much hearing he's actually lost, and um, it could be a case where he, he can hear fine, he's got the close ear. Um, but he does have se severe to moderate hearing loss. Julian's about a month and a half, maybe, um, you know, seven weeks or so, uh, when we were first introduced to the Baja. She said he will hear completely normally, like a normal person does with this on. We really want to enable him to um, experience everything that this world has to offer and we want him to experience all the wonderful sounds of music and everything else that goes with it. Really there was no reason not to. If he, there was something that could, that was so non-invasive for him to have on and something that he could hear normally, it just, there was no other option. Hearing at an early age, he'll be able to be on more of a path uh, as you know, the other kids that are, he might be in class with. And he won't be too far behind. In fact, I think he'll actually be ahead because of the programs that he's involved with. When Julian first got the device, it was, um, gosh, it was so amazing. I couldn't, I couldn't believe that this technology actually existed. It was, I mean, it blew my mind. I really thought that this would be a much different path. It just needs to be on a bone um, in his head, and it has been so easy to be able to hear everything for just just to have that on a bone you know just right behind his ear it's so fascinating to me with this bp 100 you're able to easily tell if it's on or off and if the battery's low the visual indicators they're wonderful as well because we can tell um, depending on which color where, where it's programmed to which ear it's really been an interesting sort of transformation from when he was you know, just an infant and just sort of not making any sounds to now everything's just sort of happening all at once and it's really, really neat to see it transpire. The Baja allows Julian to have, in my opinion, a very normal, perfectly normal life. Well, it started off with mom, mom, and dada, um, as it, I guess, usually always does, but it's just progressed into um, a lot of everyday um, activities that he's involved in, whether it be eating bananas. He's asking for banana now. Um, he's asking for um, doggy. What does the sheep say? Bah. And it's just really amazing to see his, his vocabulary. I think he's up to around 18 or 19 words at this point, and he's working on putting, you know, two words together now, and it's just at 16 months with bilateral microtia, um, he wouldn't have been able to do it without a Baja device. He has the ability with this Baja to not have any developmental delays whatsoever. For me to see him, to call his name and have him turn around and look for me across the room, it's just like, yes. Like, I can't believe that he's able to hear that, and it's awesome, it's really cool. I'm a big music fan, and, and you know, I like, I put him in the school of rock whenever we're in the car, and. I see him in the back doing his little dance and, and all that stuff, so it's just really fun to, uh, to watch him be able to enjoy that with me. Because he has the Baja right now, because he started at such an early age, he, no matter what he does, there will just be such a minute difference between him and anybody else. I just don't think there's anything that he really has to say, I can't do this. He's been handed some challenges, but I think he will be more than capable of handling them and uh, the Baja device has definitely been enabling that. People don't need to suffer through hearing loss. Like there's solutions out there and I just think it's important that people do their research and, uh, and really um, allow their children the opportunity to hear. In his eyes, you know, there's, there's nothing different, you know, and we try to keep our perspective the same way. There's nothing different about you.
Julian is quite possibly the best thing that's ever happened in my life. He brings so much joy and so much laughter into my life. It's really just an honor to see him grow up and uh, just see him explore everything around him and just see his interactions with people and how friendly he is and how curious he is. Uh, when I think about the Baja and what it has allowed Julian to have, it's only miraculous to me, really, because there would be no other possibility for him to have anything else that would give him the normalcy and the development that he has at this stage. His entire life is a different path now that he has the Baja.